Hey there, true believers. Rankers are arguing with more. Let's play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Blind. The last time we beat someone who just sucked as a boss fight. Seriously, so hard. But he was blocking up up here, so maybe we need to be in here. Okay, can't read those. They're just a painting. I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go. Um. I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. Well, I'm, I'm here to help you. Why are they doing this? What is this nonsense with the guns and the crosses and the talk of vampires? Why do they insist on keeping me here? Who are these people? Um... Militia nut jobs. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anything, just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> the sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Hmm... I dealt with them. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you help me escape. That was that was always the plan, sir. All right. Where should I begin? Mm. Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. Sure. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Um, vaguely, uh, through Civ, but not enough to say I'm familiar. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Alrighty. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But, uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. A little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 B.C which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. That is very strange. Continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Messarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like uh, Dracula or something. Hmm. Uh, but what, what about the what, what, what about the sarcophagus? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserat could remain in uh, what is the word pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Huh. So, why don't you open it then? Maybe we'll get him to tell us how to open it this way. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. Alright. Uh... Yeah, any historical reason for him being a vampire? Not that vampires exist or anything. You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. 
Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Alrighty. A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. Oh. So, he's... So he's probably just got that, then. Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. Hmm. How did you find the sarcophagus, sir? Uh, that is... you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. Hmm. Continue. I was gonna say you're hiding something here, but alright, fair enough, continue. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Well, alright then. Fine, I guess I'll believe you. Even though you're very clearly hiding something. That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you it is more likely to be filled with, uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. That's unfortunate. I really wish it was, it was that kind of mummy. Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith. The first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. Hmm. So, back to the point, how do you open this thing? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it, it's perplexing. Hmm. Well, obviously there's a key. Do you have this key? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus, even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Well, certainly hoping. No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. All right, I can totally free you, man. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. Sweet. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, dear God, you again? I Oh. Oh, oh crap. Okay, um... Uh, Johansson, we should probably leave now. Not crouch. There we go. That's the button I wanted to push. Still following? No. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Glad that he's not following me. I can't use celerity to get out of here either. Oh yeah. The boat's right there, so. Let's 
not like we're you know, super far away or anything. Hopefully Johansson can keep up with me. If not, well, and it's very unfortunate, but he's going to have to die here. Yep, hopefully he escaped with me. Well, that went shockingly well. Like, shockingly, that was the smoothest part of this whole friggin' area. This <laughs> is the leaving. So, I'm gonna put the sword away. Oh, hello. There's lots of rubble everywhere out here. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder if the prince got attacked. That would certainly suck. Hmm. Oh god, they've killed the unlockable character. He was the best of all of them. Probably. Do I hit a button? Is it this one? No. No, here it is. I think, oh, I did get EXP from that area. Six. I can't do, can't do anything with six, though. Alright, penthouse it is, then. How's it going, Princey? <laughs> with whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. So I made a mess downstairs. The Sabat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabat animals. Hmm. I almost forgot about the, uh, the Sabat, to be honest. Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diablerists. Now what that means is drinking the other is drinking the blood of vampires. It's if you drink someone who has a who has a stronger bloodline than you, so like if someone with a bloodline eight drank a bloodline seven, they would become a seven. So that would um, make you seven generations away from Cain instead of eight. So you get closer to Cain, and you get more powerful. That's how that works. I actually know that. The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablerie. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. Let me... <laughs> hey, lazy sheriff. Um... Hmm... The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses, here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Um... Mm, I kind of want him to pay me first, but I know he'll just be an... You know what? Screw it. Take your money. Tell me. What have you learned? Yes! A key? Where? Do you have it? Uh, no idea, but box dead. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. Mm. 
Uh, anybody who any, anybody who crosses me dies. Let's go with that one. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Fine. What do you guys say about this Megillah? Nothing? Cool. I wonder what kind of vampire he is, actually. Probably a, um... Oh, what, what's the thing? Crap. I, whatever. I'll remember it later. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. Mm. The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. Fair enough, then. Um... Hmm... Well, I don't think he's Camarilla, but I don't think he's an Anarch, because the, the Prince wouldn't tolerate using his help. And I don't think he's Sabbat. I think he's a free agent, or an independent. What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. Hmm, I met with Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? Hmm. A Syrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Mezarak, I'll have to research that name. See what I can find. Ah, we told Beckett something he didn't know. Well, look about that. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. Mm. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. Yeah, fair enough. It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Mezarak and the Lamastu myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. Sweet. Excellent. Mm. How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. I, I doubt it, to be honest. But, um... Uh, what about Gehenna? What about the sarcophagus and the Gehenna? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> yep, that's all I got. Well, there was that. We learned, we learned a lot of things today about history. And just, there's bullet holes everywhere. Is Chunk okay? I can't find Chunk's body. Hmm. Hopefully he's okay. I don't think he will be, but hopefully he is. This is still a right mess the spot made. Excuse me. Oh, I have to go and restock and heal and stuff. Um, let's see, where is that? Confession is at five. Um, I think that's this way, I think. I wish I could run. Being, being able to run would be helpful. Like, really helpful. Uh, well. Still a knife here. I already have a knife, though, so I can't do anything 
with it. And I've went the wrong way, it would seem. Good. It appears that I still have no... S Actually, let's check up with, with the, um... Yeah, the, uh, whatchacallits around here, isn't it? The last round? Yeah, the last round's, like, right over here. We can go, we can go, we can go, um... Pass along some information to the, to the Anarchs, maybe. Provided that no, uh... No, uh, Camarillo are following us. But we'll do that next time. So, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you guys next time with more of this way, Vampire the Masquerade, Blood Eyes Blind. So, until then, until then, okay.